What operational measures have allowed for uh, is a measurement across the system, a diagnostic, a measurement, a constant uh, uh, monitoring of uh, how we're performing across a whole host of measures. Quality, cost, delivery, safety, and morale. Part of it is to um, keep an eye on, at a provincial level, how are we doing in meeting the customer or client or resident or patient needs. and being good stewards of our publicly administered, publicly funded system. This uh, is different than uh, our Hoshin Canary uh, wall uh, by way of uh, one being strategic and the other being operational. One giving us a sense of where we're headed uh, according to targets and time frames uh, and strategic direction. The other giving us a diagnostic on a regular basis on an ongoing basis of how we're doing operationally. Uh, we've had a, a year to experiment with our strategic ball at the provincial level, and that gives us a, a snapshot of each of the year-long strategic priorities. And now that we're at the end of that first year cycle, we actually have a few of those strategic priorities that are coming off of that strategic priority list. And the gains that we achieved through that work need to continue to be monitored to make sure that we don't lose the gains and um, that makes it an operational piece of work. The real question was in terms of sustainability where you take those measures so for instance uh, the surgical checklist we have uh, in the past year uh, achieved uh, almost a 97 percent compliance our target remains 100 percent compliance but it became important to have that monitored on an ongoing basis so that we hold those gains. Um, in Lean, you have different levels of improvement work that can go on, so by having a cascade of visibility walls, um, we can have a better sense that we're all moving in the same direction. What will be really important to me is that uh, we continue to have line of sight, uh, and there would be a real sense from the staff who have daily huddles or weekly huddles uh, that their work is leading uh, to the outcomes that we have set uh, and to the achievement of the system as a whole. We still want to look at converting our whole system to a high-performing system and focus on daily continuous improvement and these small incremental changes. And the only way that we can really be sure that we're effective in that work is to monitor any of that operational work on a routine basis and the operational wall gives us a chance to do that. Probably the biggest benefit in all this work has been the way uh, we have come together and uh, walked the wall, the huddles, the uh, visibility, uh, making that which was hidden visible to uh, consider the metrics and to be able to ask that question why, uh, truly trying to set up a learning organization. Again, I love this continuous learning and improving because that's what we're doing when it comes to the visibility walls and uh, the leaders using them, etc. We're always trying to make it the best. It's my hope that uh, it never stagnates, that it's a constant uh, uh, improvement from year to year in not only what we measure, uh, but the benefits of that measurement, the benefits of thinking and acting as one as we uh, huddle together and uh, learn together about what it takes uh, to transform a health system.